Hello, and welcome back to the ADSB University, powered by Free Flight Systems. My name is Pete Ring, and in this chapter, we'll be taking a deeper look at how the traffic systems work within the ADSB network. There are several different ways you will receive traffic once you are ADSB equipped. The first way is called ADSB traffic. This works when you have two aircraft that are on the same band and communicate their position directly to each other. For example, a 978 aircraft will communicate directly with another 978 aircraft. The same with 1090 aircraft. The second way to receive traffic is through ADSR, or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Rebroadcast. This allows 1090 equipped aircraft to see 978 equipped aircraft and vice versa. This system is dependent on both aircraft being in range of an ADSB ground station. Both aircraft will be communicating their position with that ground station. The ground station then will rebroadcast that position information to the other aircraft in the area. Here you can now see more of the inner workings of the ADSB network and how the system is communicating internally with air traffic control, 1090 equipped aircraft, 978 equipped aircraft, and how WSI, the FISB provider, is incorporated into this network. The third and final way you'll receive traffic data is through TISPI, or Traffic Information Services Broadcast. This will allow an ADSB-equipped aircraft to see non-ADSB-equipped aircraft, as long as that non-ADSB-equipped aircraft is currently in radar coverage. The amount of information you receive on that non-ADSB target will be substantially less, but you will still be provided with some basic data. From a traffic display standpoint, you will see some different shapes. On this display, we have three valid ADSB targets and two non-ADSB or primary targets. If you look at the yellow target, this is a primary non-ADSB target. As previously mentioned, the amount of data you receive on these primary targets is substantially less. As you can see on this FedEx target, the traffic symbology is a little different than most people are used to today. A closer look allows you to better see this symbol. It's important to note that this symbol is regulated due to its association with ADSB. The basic symbol is a chevron with a long point on it. That point is called a trend vector. That trend vector is going to tell you two different things. It's going to give you the relative heading of that target, and it's also going to give you an idea of the speed of that target. The longer the trend vector, the faster that target is moving. You will also see more aircraft data with ADSB as well. We know that this is a FedEx 514 flight, and that this target is 1200 feet above us and climbing. All this information is aimed at increasing situational awareness and designed to make flying safer. Thank you for viewing this chapter of the ADSB University. If you have any questions on the material you just viewed, please feel free to contact our sales team at sales at freeflightsystems.com. One of our qualified ADSB experts will be more than happy to assist you with any questions you may have. Thank you.